Hello YouTube, this is a revised version of a video I previously posted. This is going to outline how to quickly and easily color sketches in Photoshop. And I'm going to assume you have a very basic understanding of Photoshop, however I'm still going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide explaining everything I do, every button I hit, so that way you don't get lost like I'm doing it way too fast. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll answer as many as I can. And uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. This video is going to be direct and to the point, very specific for coloring sketches, not, not really covering much else. So I'm going to go ahead and open my tutorial image, which uh, I just took a picture of something that I drew with uh, my camera, rather than scanning it in. If you can scan it, scan it. Otherwise, do the best you can to get the image into Photoshop. And when we open that image, the first thing you'll notice it's only one layer and that layer is a background layer that's locked we can't have this because we need that layer to uh... Mo we need to modify that layers properties so right away we need to double click on that layer name it sketch name it lines name it whatever's easy for you to remember that layer by and uh, because i took a photograph of mine it has a bit of a brown tone and that may work for what you're looking for however that's not what i want so I'm going to go ahead and desaturate that layer by pressing Control shift u And uh, once I've got that done, uh, we can go ahead and lock that layer so we don't erase anything, so we don't color on it, because that can cause a lot of problems if you start modifying your sketch layer. And now that we've done that, we'll leave that there, and we'll go ahead and create a new layer by hitting the New Layer button on the bottom right of the Layers palette. It looks like a little piece of paper with a for uh, corner folded up and I'm going to rename that layer by double clicking the name layer 1 and changing it to color and we have to put this below the sketch layer otherwise the layer blending modes won't work once we have that all set up we need to set the sketch layer to multiply so unlock it go to just below the layers tab where you see the word normal and click the down arrow and you should see list pop up near the top of the list, let me drag this down so you can see it, you'll see the word multiply. Set it there. This is the most important part of the whole process. Once we set our sketch layer to multiply, that tells Photoshop to regard all the color information in a completely new way. All the blacks are considered opaque, and all the whites are considered transparent, and every gray in between is considered a different level of transparency. The best way to think about this would be Imagine printing this out on a uh, piece of onion paper or vellum. Anywhere the ink hits, you're not going to be able to see through. Anywhere ink isn't, you'll still be able to see through. It'll still be transparent. So anything you color underneath will show up through it. Uh, once we have that done, you can either lock this layer or you can leave it there and make any changes you need to make to your drawing layer, which we'll cover later. But for now, we'll lock it. And we're going to go right to our color layer. And oh, again, this lock button is just below the arrow on the uh, layer blending modes tab. So now we're on our color layer. Right away, I just want you to grab the brush, just pick a color, uh, purple, yes, and just make a few lines. And look at the way it behaves. You can see that uh, the black is completely opaque, while the white is transparent. And if you've done shading, if you've done any kind of uh, gradient work with a pencil, the uh, the multiply function respects that. And so if you did any shading, all that work, it's all going to pay off. Because that shading is already done for you here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all that, and I'm going to get closer in. And now this is just about what it was like when you were a kid with magic markers coloring in a book. Because when you try to color in something here, it's going to color right inside those lines. So there we go. And I'm just going to fill this. I fill. I can fill a uh, selection by holding Alt and then pressing Backspace. And what that does is that fills your uh, current foreground color. If you hold Control and hit Backspace, that fills your background color. Which I don't really need to do because it's white. So there we got purple. trimmed along the edges. Now if you use that lasso tool that's good for straight lines for very geometric shapes if you have 
uh, something more organic, like a like a uh, a person or a figure or a plant or landscape, you name it. You're gonna need something a little more fluid. If you don't have a tablet and you do want to do digital coloring, digital painting, I strongly, strongly recommend picking up a tablet because it's gonna make all that a whole lot easier. And so, as you can see, those uh, layers are blending straight through. All the shading from the sketch layer is uh, appropriately distributed. All the colors are distributed. So, literally, in the, from now, it's just filling in the the lines and uh, making it look good. A thing to note that I do, I put different parts of the drawing on different layers. So that way if I mess up something somewhere, I can go back and quickly change and edit one layer without editing another. So for example, if I wanted to make the cockpit blue, I'll go ahead and select it. And I'm going to make a new layer and call it cockpits. I'm going to fill it with blue. And let's say I messed this up somehow. I don't know how. I messed it up. I need to get in there and I need to erase something. So I'm going to pull out my eraser. And I can move that up and down wildly all over the place without affecting my other layers. Again, really important if you have a lot going on in a single image. And that's, that's about it for the basic... Uh, coloring and sketching of a, a photograph that you scanned in, this is going to be the fastest way to do it. And uh, that's going to be about it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, if you want me to make any other videos explaining any other parts of Photoshop, I'll be happy to make any suggestions you need. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.